their professions, their dreams, their aspirations. Just raising the awareness of Russian women living here in the United States as immigrants. So if anyone is interested, please can contact me if you have uh, stories to share. I would love to work with any one of you. Unfortunately, when I talk to different Americans here in New York and they hear Russian women, they have all kinds of wrong images, associations. About there are a lot of different angles how the Americans see Russian women. Some of them, they're fascinating about the beauty, about the, how they so gorgeous and educated and um, on a very high class woman. On the other hand, they uh, see Russian women like they're really available, they never say no and kind of other way around, it's kind of like gold diggers. I, I wish sometimes I could change it, you know, because not every Russian woman is like that. And there are even uh, much, much more Russian women completely not like that. So we need to change that. So please help Elena. No, I'm serious. Everybody, please, all, right, all who speaks Russian, all ladies, please contact her. I feel like a lot of people when they come to this country they feel like they're immigrants they feel like oh you know I'm an immigrant and that mentality stops them from achieving a lot about uh, a lot more and usually the second generation already the kids of the immigrants they adapt American mentality and they achieve much further so it took me a little bit of time to realize that if you want to do something you can do it. this country provides you with all different opportunities it doesn't matter if you are minority if you uh, immigrant or anything like that so as soon as that happened I started Pressing myself through my music. Later, you don't wanna cry, but I like the guy so much. She was married, I went for it and realized we failed. Why I had to be so hard to understand you was a mind, was a waste of time? No, but the truth, married guys never dead for you, anyways, anyways, anyways. I gotta make a choice today, we gotta get the play. Up or down, left or right, life is a struggle, but I choose to survive. I gotta make a choice today, we gotta get So I opened up a PR company since two years ago and uh, I've been working with restaurants, clubs, so bringing uh, clients, people, uh, arranging uh, parties, birthday parties, opening for the boutiques, opening for gallery shows, so that's, uh, that's about it. And also did some artwork, uh, I have, I've done some paintings, I did a show. Are you gonna have another gallery for your artwork soon? Not soon, but uh, maybe in a year. Yeah. I need to have inspiration. <laughs> inspiration. In the former Soviet Union, we weren't encouraged to dream. My parents have never taught me to dream. My parents have never been taught to dream. And that was not in the standards of uh, everybody being the same. So here now, my problem, I need to learn how to dream. In the United States, yes, anything is possible. Everything and anything is possible. Anything they're set their mind to in healthy families, anything the children set their mind to everything is achievable and that is uploaded into the brains of the children from day one and uh, it has never been told to us. I work as a flight attendant Airlines. for Continental Express Airlines. This April and May I went to a makeup school. I finished it and I work as a freelance makeup artist at Saks Fifth Avenue sometimes and just work with 
some people I know. It gives me a fulfillment to make a woman beautiful. I, I, I love it. Yeah. Do you have something new or it's something like... What? Exactly. Mm, I don't know. Like, what is this stuff? That's concealer. I still have to find my way around this thing. Okay, wow. I am... How do you check out? I'll do it right now. I got it. Thank you, Barb. You are the best. <laughs> Right now, I work for La Perla, it's an Italian lingerie boutique. And the reason I started to work for them because um, in America I realized I have a talent. Like, um, I do love photography. So I started to do some photography and uh, I wanted to work for them as a photographer because I saw their books and like, it's amazing. The shoots, the, the pictures, it's just like... I just in love with those pictures. So, but they didn't have the opportunity for me to work as a photographer. They just took me as a in a sales position. Sometimes people asking me where I'm from, where I was born, and uh, for me, like, I don't feel like I belong to certain place or I belong to certain country or I belong to certain society. I feel like free spirit, honestly, and uh, sometimes I just answer the question I'm like a world citizen. <laughs> the song Russian Mama is uh, it's kind of make, making fun of us, <laughs> of myself and some of my girlfriends and it's, it's a stereotype. Some people call them the gold diggers. Some people have the, this uh, projection about Russian women, but I think every woman either went through that at least once in their life or some still going through. It's, I think it's not even women, it's everybody trying to fulfill themselves with something. Either it's materialistic, so maybe for guys it could be cars, for girls it could be bags, and trying to satisfy themselves and satisfy that empty spot. But in reality, that empty spot cannot be fulfilled by anything. Once upon a time, I thought I was rich and famous, working on the minimum wage. Sparkles and Cartier bracelet, and all the time that I wasted. If you don't know, I'm Elena, like Mary Magdalene, got saved from drama, and I'm rich and famous, mama. In the fits, Versace Gucci My my dream is to to write books, all the life uh, experiences and stories that I have. I want to write it down for other women, to help other young women that go through what I went through, not to do the same mistake that I did when I was at that age. And to, to know them that they have so much inside that they don't, they don't even know yet. And whatever the world they have to tell them, they should not listen to what the world has to say. They have to say to the world who they are and what they want.